why avocados should have gone extinct about 10 to 13,000 years ago. Um, so they look the way they do because evolution pushed them in a direction where they can be eaten whole by large animals. So we're talking about giant sloths. We're talking about mammoths. They were the big carriers of these and dropping seeds and putting these everywhere. Now, those animals died out about 10 to 13,000 years ago um, during a time called the Pleistocene Epoch. Um, and it's because humans were kind of becoming more prevalent and because nature and a bunch of other things were going on. We'll get into that another time. But at that time, nothing really else was eating this. And so when those animals died off, this generally would have disappeared. We have uh, many times where uh, the plants no longer existed when the animals died. But the reason that we do have them today is that humans um, decided to uh, eat them. I can see them eating some what we call kind of prehistoric tacos, little meat, little something, and some avocado in there. And as hunters and gatherers, we decided to plant these. Now, they didn't look like this at the time, and in fact, if we hadn't picked these up and liked them, um, they would be extremely rare, if even in existence anymore. Um, these were actually um, called something like alligator pears way back in the day, and even longer ago, I think they were called aguacates or something like that by the Aztecs or the Mayans. And then the 1900s, um, it, the, some California farmers um, decided to change the name to avocados. So that's the story. I get asked about that a lot. It's just a side story. I hope you enjoy it. You guys have a great one.